Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. In this lab, we are going to continue with what we learned in the previous lab. In this lab, however, there are now four routers, and there are a lot more static routes that need to be configured. Try to complete the lab yourself first, then continue watching if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. So, in the previous video, I mentioned that as a network gets larger, it becomes unfeasible to configure primary and backup routes to each destination manually. In this lab, we aren't even going to configure backup routes, and just by adding a few extra routers, the amount of static routes to be configured has increased quite a bit. So, exactly how many routes will we have to configure? Well, let's look at R1. It is directly connected to three networks, 10.0.1.0/24, and 192.168.13.0/24. So we don't have to configure routes to these networks. That means we will have to configure routes to 192.168.24.0/24, 192.168.13.0/24, 192.168.13.0/24. and 10.0.4.0/24. So, we will have to configure five static routes on R1. We will have to configure the same number of routes on each other router. So that's a total of 20 static routes. On the scale of things, that's not a huge number of routes to configure. However, compared to the two routes we had to configure in the previous lab, it's quite a jump. This is still a very small and simple network too, on the scale of things. This lab will be quite repetitive, but also good practice. Be careful of misconfigurations when doing repetitive work like this. I'll of course be careful too, but if you spot any mistakes, I'll give you a shout out in another video. Anyway, let's get started. I'll hop on R1. Enable. Conf T. So let's create the static routes we mentioned before. IP route 192.168.24.0, 255.255.255.0, with the next hop of 192.168.12.2, which is R2. IP route 192.168.34.0, 255.255.255.0, with the next hop of 192.168.13.3, which is R3. IP route 10.0.3.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.13.3 Again, R3 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.2.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.12.2 Next hop of R2. IP route 10.0.4.0.255.255.255.0 now this one we have a choice. There are two routes of equal distance. We could go R2 to R4 or via R3 to R4. Let's go with R2 as the next hop. So 192.168.12.2. Okay, R1 is now complete. Now let's go on R2 and configure the required routes. Those being 192.168.13.0/24 192.168.34.0/24, 10.0.1.0/24, 10 10.0.3.0/24, 10 10 and 10.0.4.0/24. Enable conf t IP route 192.168.13.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.12.1. R1 is the next hop. IP route 192.168.34.0.255.255.255.0. 192.168.24.4, R4 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.1.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.12.1, R1 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.3.0.255.255.255.0. Again, we can choose between two equal distant routes, R1 to R3 or R4 to R3. Let's go with R1, so 192.168.12.1. 
IP route 10.0.4.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.24.4. R4 is the next hop. That's all for R2. Now let's configure the routes for R3. R3 requires routes to 192.168.12.0/24, Enable conf t IP route 192.168.12.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.13.1 R1 is the next hop. IP route 192.168.24.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.34.4 R4 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.1.0.255.255.255.0 192.168.13.1, R1 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.2.0, Again, we have a choice here. I'll set R1 as the next hop. 192.168.13.1. IP route 10.0.4.0, 255.255.255.0, 192.168.34.4. R4 is the next hop. That's all for R3. Finally, let's configure static routes on R4. R4 needs routes to 192.168.12.0/24, 192.168.13.0/24, 10.0.1.0/24, 10.0.2.0/24, 10 and 10.0.3.0/24. Enable IP route 192.168.12.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.24.2. R2 is the next hop. IP route 192.168.13.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.34.3. R3 is the next hop. IP route 10.0.1.0.255.255.255.0. 255 we have a choice here between two equal distance routes, but let's go with R2. So 192.168.24.2. IP route 10.0.2.0.255.255.255.0.192.168.24.2. R2 is the next top. And last one, IP route 10.0.3.0.255.255.255.0. 192.168.34.3. R3 is the next hop. That's all for R4. Okay, I hope that didn't put you to sleep, but I also hope it helped you practice configuring static routes. We will do one more lab dedicated to static routing, focusing on the creation of backup routes. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.